My name is Sandra Hadzis and um, I've been a knitter most of my life from primary school days. I learned from my mum. To start knitting, we need to know the four steps, which is the cast on, the knit stitch or plain knitting, the purl stitch, and then casting off. Once we know all of these steps, we can do just about anything. So over the years, I've knitted lots and lots of different things, uh, always wanting a challenge. This little dinosaur, Spinosaurus, the fingerless gloves, um, beanies, washers, um, the cardigan I'm wearing, and um, of course tea cosies. When we start to learn knitting, we need yarn and needles. Um, the wool is eight ply and the needles are four millimetre. They're matched and that's an average size of wool and needle. You don't want something too fine and fiddly and you don't want someone too bulky because the needles are harder to handle. First of all, we have to make a first stitch with a slip knot. I do that by taking the wool, leave a tail, wind it over my finger twice, lift the first loop over the second, and then lift the second over the first and off the finger. And this is a slip knot so it can go shorter and longer. We'll start with the wool end of the yarn, the ball of wool end of the yarn, not the tail. We hold the left hand needle in the left hand and the left hand somehow supports that stitch as well. First of all, we take the right hand needle from the left and put it through that first loop and under the left hand needle to form a cross. Then we take the wool, bring it under and around the right hand needle. With the left hand we can help push the needle through and grab that stitch. Then we bring it around and put the left hand needle under and then we've got two stitches. The second time will be a little bit different. We're going to put the right hand needle between the first and the second stitch but everything else is the same. We've put it between the stitches, we've formed a cross, it's under the left hand needle. And we bring the wool around and over the right hand needle. Help by pushing it down and grasp the stitch with the right hand needle. Pull it out, twist it around and put it on the left hand needle. So now we're ready to do our first lot of knitting and we'll do the knit stitch. There are only two different stitches in knitting, the knit stitch and the purl stitch. So we're going to take the right hand needle. Once again, we're holding the stitches and the needle, the left hand needle in the left hand. We're going to put the right hand needle into that first loop from the left and push it under that needle to form a cross. Very much similar to what we were doing with the cast on. Bring the wool around from underneath, push the needle through and grab that stitch. But this time we're going to take it off the needle. So we've knitted one stitch. And we can say in through the bunny hole, around the big tree, out through the bunny hole, away run she, which is a childhood um, nursery rhyme to help you remember. So. We finished over there. Now we take the needle in the left hand and turn it around so where the long tail leading to the ball is, that's where we start knitting again. Now we're going to start the purl stitch, which is the second and last stitch in knitting. We're going to hold again, hold the, the knitting or the cast on stitches with the left hand on the left hand needle. Bring the right hand needle under that working wool and then we're going to bring the right hand needle under that first stitch from the right. So it's pointing up, it's on top of the bottom left hand needle and again it forms a cross. Then we're going to bring the wool around from the right to the left and grab it with the needle, push it with the thumb and bring it out, then take it off the needle. So we can still do in through the bunny hole, 
Around the big tree, out through the bunny hole, away run she. This is the square piece of plain knitting that I've already finished and I'll use this to show the last process of knitting which is casting off. So taking the piece of knitting off the needles without all the stitches dropping. So once again we're holding the knitting and the left hand needle in the left hand. We're going to take the needle in through the left hand side of that first stitch under the needle forming a cross. Bring the wool around, bring it through and take it off. One knit stitch. To cast off we need to knit two knit stitches. We have two stitches on the right hand needle. With the left hand needle we take the point of the needle and put it under that first loop. A bit difficult. Lift it up and over and off that needle. And we're forming a nice little chain effect for the edge of the cast off. And then for the last stitch, the same thing. We're going to take that first stitch up over and off and we're left with one stitch. Put the ball of wool through that loop and then pull it. So now what we do, we'll cut off that thread and we can run the both threads into the knitting and you'd never know where you started or finished. Once you've learnt the knit stitch, the purl stitch, casting on and casting off, there are a few simple projects you can make which are face washes or you can knit a square piece of garter stitch fabric about that big which you can then turn into a fingerless glove. There we go. I hope you found this reasonably simple to pick up and I hope you enjoy your knitting and will be inspired to make all sorts of wonderful things.